Hey guys, today I'll be doing something that I've never done before. I'll be making some shrink plastic monstrosities. Wow! Or as I like to call them, shrinky dinks for the first time ever. <laughs> some of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to be making any Christmas videos, and well, here it is. Shrinky <laughs> dinks. I didn't want to go the traditional Jack Skellington or Grinch route today, but I did want each of my pins to be evil. Of course. So I decided on some monsters disguised in Christmas attire. Some of you, if you've been loyal, might recognize some of these characters because for the most part, they're all original characters I made in previous videos, just in Christmas outfits. I started off by sketching honey. Shrinky dinks shrink to about 20% of their size, hence the name Shrinky Dinks. <laughs> so you have to start off by making pretty decent sized sketches. I'm only drawing the outlines on paper, not coloring it in quite yet because they're more like a guide. Honey used to be in a blue mug, but for today he's upgraded to a stocking. Mine kinda looks more like a worn out Ooh. sock than a stocking, but same difference. Then I took out the shrink plastic sheets. I got a pack of these at Hobby Lobby for like seven bucks. I taped it to the drawing I had sketched out and traced Honey onto it. I decided to use Posca pens to color mine in, but you can use colored pencils too. Since his mug is blue, I felt the need to make his sock blue. That way he still feels at home. I then moved on to drawing Boo Boo, honey's better half. I love you so much, I want to kill you. <laughs> I love you too, please don't hurt me. <laughs> she kept wanting to bite honey, so I gave her a candy cane to nibble on instead. Boo Boo also happened to ditch her mug. You can actually see more than just her big what head today. Honey and Boo Boo are the only ones of the group that aren't really dressed up as Christmas characters. But I felt that stockings and candy canes are Christmassy enough, so hopefully no one minds too much. This next one is the first clay character I ever made on my channel. You'd probably only know him if you've been binging my videos or you've been around for a while. His name Slurp. I didn't like the first sketch I made, I thought it didn't look cartoony enough, so I ended up redoing him. I was reading the description for the video Slurp originally appeared in. No worries though, Slurp's not the kind of monster who hides under your bed to scare you. He's just there in case you get lonely. He's like the monster version of Casper the Friendly Ghost. I will say over time he's looking more and more cranky. <laughs> I guess life does that to you, which is why I decided to base him off Scrooge. He's wearing like a blue night suit with a nightcap that's covering his angler fish lantern hey. antenna. I was trying my best to not layer the Posca pens up too much here, but I kind of messed up in some spots. Oh. You can also see that the yellow isn't really showing up that well. I'll go back and try to touch that up later. Moving on to the next monstrosity, the awkward transition ghost. If you don't recognize him, that's... That's frankly kinda awkward. He's just a ghost that I hired off the street, so I haven't even named him yet. To me, he looks like a Trevor because he's kinda annoying. So I guess that can be his name. He is based off the red Pac-Man ghost, Blinky. Looks just a little different in the eyes area. I didn't actually make him, he was a little graphic that I found online for free use and I thought he looked so derpy that I had to use him. This is when I was first starting out and I didn't realize I'd still be using his services. When I draw him, I draw him slightly differently, but I've left the graphic the same. He's red and has a long white beard. Hopefully you can tell he's supposed to be Santa. <laughs> Trevor's pointing at you for some reason, almost as though he's about to knock you out with some presents. You want presents? I'll give you presents! Some of you guys think Trevor's voice is my voice. Which is silly. He actually records all his own parts. I'm not paying him for nothing. Santa's gone. I'm in charge now. If you're new here and you want to get your Christmas presents this year, you should consider selling your soul to Graveyard Loon by subscribing to the channel. Make sure you ring the bell and select all so you don't lose him on the internet or... What's my line? He posts new videos? every Friday. Next on the list is the gingerbread voodoo doll, who was a bit hard to draw because the voodoo dolls I've drawn before were kind of skinny. I wanted this one to be chunky. That way he won't curl up as much in the oven. If it's too thin, it can curl in on itself in the oven and get stuck like that. I didn't want to risk that. I kind of like him chunky. He looks more like a gingerbread cookie that way anyway. 
I added a bow tie, and instead of giving him stitches like I normally would, I instead made little wavy icing patterns like a normal gingerbread man. I just wanted it to be obvious it's a gingerbread man. I gave him one gumdrop eye and one M&M eye. Can you even tell that's a gumdrop? No. I don't know why. I felt it was necessary. Just go with it. And here we go with <laughs> Rudolph. Well, kinda. I wanted to have one of Santa's reindeer in the lineup, so I used my red dragon that I had drawn in a Create This Book 2 episode, since at least he can fly. I added a big red clown nose so he looks more like Rudolph, though I don't think he's really fooling anyone. Perhaps he knows no one's falling for it, so he has that unamused, borderline annoyed expression. And of course I added on some antlers. I was pretty worried about them curling in on themselves in the oven since they're so tiny. Last but not least, I sketched out Satan's little helper, the Spy Raccoon. <sighs> who's looking super happy today. I think he's just really trying to sell his elf persona. Bull. He is a spy after all. He's skilled at blending in and playing the part. He's looking kinda cute. I hate it. His undercover name is actually Secret Agent Trash Panda. <coughs> For these sheets, you'll notice that one side is sanded and the other side is not. You're supposed to draw on the sanded side, but for Secret Agent Trash Panda, I accidentally drew him on the opposite side, which ended up not really being a problem in the end. After all this time, I was finally ready to cut them up. It was pretty difficult getting into all the little crevices. There's just a lot of corners and ridges that weren't the easiest to cut around. This part ended up being very... Very annoying. Especially this dragon. The antlers and the horns are a tight fit. Clearly I didn't think this through. But anyways, here are all the designs. You should take a second to admire them while you can because, spoiler, they're not gonna stay beautiful for long. Not that they're beautiful. What did you say? Monsters aren't supposed to be beautiful. That would be weird. I'm going to start off by baking honey. Please no! I was going to start with Boo Boo, but if anything were to go wrong with Boo Boo, my girlfriend would have a heart attack. Boo Boo is too precious to her. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanted you guys to be able to witness Honey burning alive, but the oven door was a mess. I tried cleaning it as best as I could, but you still couldn't see through it. So I came up with the brilliant idea of filming with the door propped open so you could see Honey squirm while he burns. Help me! Which really wasn't a brilliant idea after all, since quite a bit of hot air was getting out. I then pulled Honey out too slowly. I guess. He hardened in literally half a second, so by the time I got to him it was too late. He was dead. Since this is my first time working with Shrinky Dinks, of course casualties were to be expected. I really wanted you guys to see the Shrinky Dinks baking, so I went out and splurged on a toaster oven. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come let us adore him. I really broke my bank for this, so you guys better like these. I'm kidding, it was on sale. So that was nice. I figured the second time around things would be better, so I stuck Boo Boo in the oven, and this time the oven was closed. After she baked, I pulled her out of the oven super quick and tried to flatten her out. To my girlfriend's extreme dismay, it didn't go as planned. <coughs> Clearly I was struggling. My first time around, I only had three that turned out decent, which was kind of a letdown and pretty frustrating. I ruined four whole monsters. I thought about leaving things as they were, but... Mama didn't raise no quitter. So I persevered and ended up redoing those. The thing with Poscas is that they can cause texture, so you can't really layer the color on too much. As you can see, some of the ones from the first batch still have quite a bit of texture. They've started looking a little furry. <laughs> For the second time around, I tried to just not go over the Posca paint too many times, which actually really helped. I also left the second batch in the oven for a bit longer, which I also think helped a lot. After everything was nice and crispy, I went in and did some touch-ups. The white and yellow was kind of thin in some spots, so I just wanted to fix that. Uh-oh. I then went over each character with some dimensional magic and added some pinbacks. I really like the look of the dimensional magic. It makes things look a lot cooler than they actually are, in my opinion. I'm pretty happy with these pins. They're not perfect. One of the horns on the dragon is bigger than the other. His antlers are looking extra thick. Also, for some reason, the dimensional magic covered up the stars on Slurp's hat somehow. But overall, I love how they turned out. To ensure you get your Christmas present this year, click on the top right. If you know Santa's not the one falling down your chimney and leaving you presents, click on the bottom left. 